Yeah, you know, I came out, I was the first one out, and uh, I heard a couple boos. I'm like, oh boy. And then the, the cheers kind of overwhelmed us. That was kind of nice. Um, you know, just getting the win was so awesome for you. The guys, you know, play, we played an incredible team game together. You know, everyone brought something different. And, you know, it, was just, it was so much fun to be out there. Just the energy was great. I guess, I know you guys talk a lot about blocking stuff out. A lot of people had, had asked questions about your Big Ten start because of the schedule you play. Do you care about, I think they're looking at tonight as a state of win. Do you care about that? Is it something that registers or do you block that out as much as you block that? I think, especially since the fact we're on the road, um, this, you know, it's a good win for us to kind of get things going. You know, we, uh, the great thing is we've gotten better. So, you know, with these the, the games we got coming up against guys that are uh, at the top of the conference ranked right now, it's uh, this is a great one for us to get our confidence up so we can you know go in there and get some more wins, wreck these up. I had no idea what was going on at the time. I just knew we were kind of making a run, but yeah, 25 0 that's I can't think of that's that's yeah yeah that's I had. That's definitely the first one I've ever been a part of. I'm sure. I could look it up, and I, I, I'd say the closest I'd be is maybe like 10 or 15. No, 25 is unbelievable. Rob, one more think, question for Max, and then I'll let him go. Anything? Max, in terms of just the expectations that you had for John Beck on the court of Chrysler and, and you know, the way it turned out in terms of the students and, and the fans here, you know, what was that like for you just coming back here? You know, walk, walking down here and you know, going to visit this locker room was weird. You know, I got out there and, and all the guys got my adrenaline pumping. It was definitely a you know, unique experience. Um, but, you know, I tried to, try to calm down a little bit before the game, you know, kind of, you know, go back to myself because I'm not, you know, the crazy energetic guy out there all the time. So I was trying to, you know, find myself a little bit. But it was, it was awesome. It was a, you know, great experience. All the guys, you know, I love all those guys we're playing against and uh, just happy we got the win. Awesome. Um, I think it speaks on how much the defense generates our offense, you know. When everybody was in there playing with energy defensively, you know, it translated on the offensive side and everybody got a positive run. I mean, yeah, so I guess at what point did it almost just, I know you guys said maybe you didn't realize what it's 25 to run, but was there a moment where you just kind of look up and you say, like, oh, crap, this thing's snowballing a little bit? No, the only thing out there is, you kind of feel it really as you're looking up and seeing it. Um, but yeah, you definitely felt the energy and getting attached to our challenge as we made that run. Um, just some of the things we, we talked about we wanted to take away. Uh, we were coming off shooters early in the first half, so we gave up some early threes, and uh, that, was, that was one of the things that we fixed. Um, we made that run and coming out in the second half, and we were able to take the threes away. Okay, so you guys are four and one now in the big town on the road. What's I guess what's been the key to being able to, to go to these lower venues and, and leave with the playoffs? Just focusing on each other and uh, getting getting better every day, trying to build from one game to the next. OG, I guess you spent a lot of time yeah, there. Obviously tonight, and it just, it just seemed like you guys took his legs out there earlier a little bit. How big of a key was that? Uh, we, we knew he'd come out and came up on the screens and stuff, so we tried to get into him, stay attached, and just chase him. How much, I guess, too, did you have Thomas and Max and, and everybody down low? It felt like you guys didn't have to really collapse. Even when they did get in the lane, you could stay with guys around the perimeter because you could trust your post defense. No, that was big. They stayed attached to their men, and so we could do our jobs and yeah, help to everything a lot. Is that, I guess, an area of growth for this team? Maybe even from the beginning of the season, that post depth has come a long way that you don't have to help as much down there? Yeah, I so. Coach mentioned there was no panic in this team. Why do you think your experience is so far this season playing? You cannot panic when you get behind your own. Because um, we, like we know how like, good we can be, so we trust each other. We never get down. We push everyone down. So yeah, we really believe. In it. You don't seem to be phased by, by you know, playing the road venue like this. You just come behind and start making plays. I mean, is that is it just not thinking about it? Is it confidence? What well, I guess what allows you to, to be able to do that? Um, just. <clears throat> Uh, my teammates and coaches gave me a lot of confidence. So. Anything else for him? A couple of guys have mentioned.